when you got sentenced to Pelican Bay, uh, how did you feel when, when, like, your first night in there? Did you feel a lot of fear or... You're going to fucking prison? You're going to Pelican Bay? Absolutely. One of the most violent prisons in the country. Like, dude, that's, that's a... Yeah. It's fucking crazy. But like I said, I just respect... Like, you know what I mean? What, what was it like? Uh, like, your daily routine? What was it like, life in there? I, I uh... I, I'd work out. I'd hang out with the homies. I would, uh... Make tat, tat, two ink. That was my hustle in there. I would, uh... My buddy Timmy from Yuba City, a little, little short back dude, and uh, he uh, taught me how to, to make ink. Cause I didn't like hitting like family or friends. Like, dude, send me money on my books. You know, I didn't want like I didn't like asking that. So I came up with my own hustle. So you get in big trouble for making ink. So he taught me how to make ink. You know, and uh, I'd sell it. We would sell it. Yeah, and. Because people didn't want to sell because you go, you get busted and you go to the hole, you know. And uh, so I just made a bad, dude, I had fun in there. I'll be honest, dude. I have a fucking blast. I always make the best of anywhere I could go. But, yeah, dude, when shit, shit could go bad real quick. People get hurt. You get caught up real quick. Someone else could get you caught up in something. It's all by races and stuff. Not that you're ra I'm racist, but, like, in there it's divided by races. Like, you know. And uh, it could take one dude to screw something up, and then everybody's involved. And then here comes knives and fucking whatever else and locks and stuff. <laughs> like, people can get hurt. You know what I mean? But respect goes a long way, you know, if you're respectful, you know. So when you went in there, obviously you probably didn't know many people. You probably didn't know anyone in there. How did you go about, like, you know, getting with the, the crew that you have to roll with to, for protection? Uh, well... I roll with the white boys, Peckerwoods, they're called. This dirty white boys and whatever. I'm half Mexican. My dad's Mexican, but like I, my he wasn't around. My mom's Scottish white, so I'm just, I'm just white boy. I always hung out, whatever. Like so, when you go in there, I hung out with the Peckerwoods, as they're called, and it's by like I I came from like I grew up in Santa Cruz County, so it goes by cars. Like so, when I go in there, I look for a dude. That's from Santa Cruz County, and that's called a car, like a car, like you know. And then there'll be a one dude that calls the shots for that county. So every county is different, called a car. But then, in the, as the big picture, there's one dude that calls the shots for every, all the the woods or whatever, you know. But when you're dealing with in-house stuff, like I did something, then that guy that runs the car for Santa Cruz would come and discipline me or whoever if someone did something if it was something bigger then the top dog would come and you'd have to take some lumpings or whatever it may be you know but uh that's just how it goes in there you know can't eat after blacks can't can't drink it's not that's right it's just that's how it goes in there you get caught doing that and and each race has got their own little deal, too, that they can't do, you know? So you got to go buy those politics, and which I look at it now, it's lame, you know what I mean? Like, so when you go I don't give a fuck who, like, what, like, dude, I'm not real. I don't give a shit what, who you are, dude. We're all humans. And there, it's a whole different fucking deal. And, like, I'm a fucking skateboarder, dude. I love everybody. I don't give a fuck. Fuck who you are, what color, what what it is. I don't I don't trip on that stuff. I mean, look, who am I to judge? I mean, you got to look at this, you know, like I don't <laughs> give a shit. But in there, dude, it's a trip. Yeah, you got like, dude, and the politics suck, dude. Like, you get fucking stabbed over some fucking taking the top ramen, and not paying it back or something, bar. You know what I mean? Like, just the littlest things can get you really hurt. Yeah, I got so much to lose now, and like. I, I just can't do it now. I just don't, I got too much to lose. And I just like, I like being healthy. I get tore up, man. I'm like, that's why I hide out. Like, dude, I'm fucking tore up. I'm already kind of small. You know what I mean? Like I fucking like, I like being healthy and fucking exercising and doing what I'm doing now. So I just kind of look at my pat like, dude, this is what it's going to lead. It's going to lead me to doing bad things. Those bad things are going to lead me to getting arrested. 
getting arrested is going to leave me going back to jail and then the, wherever else, you know what I mean, or dead. And now they got that fentanyl shit that's in, in everything that's killing everybody. Like, they, they put it in, in, in cocaine. They put it in speed. And they put it in weed. I heard they put in weed. Like, dude, you're, you do any of those drugs, dude, you're, you're rolling the dice every time you fucking use any of those drugs. My, the, my sponsor, his buddy, like, had friends that fucking good dudes. They're drinking. Buy some cocaine to fucking stay up to fucking drink some more. All four of them died. OD. Because they had fentanyl in it. It's supposed to keep you up. They fucking fell asleep, knocked out, gone. You know what I mean? It's like, you're rolling. It's like a whole different ball game now. That fentanyl shit in it is no joke. It, w- it wasn't in the drugs back then? No. Just heroin's heroin. You know what I mean? Like opium whatever like cocaine's cocaine and whatever the fuck up speed whatever the fuck they put in it you know now they're putting that fentanyl in everything why i have no idea isn't it just yeah why is that it's just to what to it, it cut makes it, it cheaper like, oh it makes it cheaper yeah and then like a, a junkie like a junkie he hears like oh that dude od and died they're like where'd you get it at they want it they're like that's the good stuff a little little piece like that they'll kill you like, before you do heroin, you had to shoot it up to to, to OD. Smoking it, you could smoke it all really? fucking for hours and never OD. You had to, like, put that shit in your arm to fucking not wake up. That shit, you could take one hit, smoking it, gone. So, how would you say you deal with, let's say, situations where before you would start doing drugs to get to numb the pain of things how do you deal with things now that like for example cause you pain or like if something you know life-changing happens to where you think you can't deal with it how how you deal with it now instead of using drugs you would say ron uh, new origin my buddy josh my sponsor Mm -hmm. uh my friends that are sober i could hit up any of those dudes and i talk about it now like dude i'm just fucking having a shitty fucking day I mean, I don't. I have them. I don't have that because I'm, I, dude. I'm, I'm so fucking grateful and happy that I'm fucking alive. That I do have shitty days, but I don't have. I mean, we, we all do. They're gonna come and go, but I definitely have a lot of fucking rad days over the shitty ones. But I just sleep on it now. I talk to people. Fucking, you go to a meeting. You know what I mean? Like I fucking have friends that are so. I've been through it. All right, dude. This fucking, dude. This is. Do this. Fucking try that. I fucking meditate sometimes. It's crazy as sound. People probably fucking trip out. Dude, I do a little bit of yoga. Dude, I like do shit that fucking people are like, what the fuck? People are used to me fucking breaking bottles and knocked out teeth. Like, dude, I'll fucking do yoga. I'll meditate. I don't give a fuck. You know, I'll pick flowers, whatever the fuck I have to do. If it keeps me fucking sober, I'm doing it. I'm just, dude, I do, you got you to open it. You got to, dude, I just like, I, I'm a softy, dude. Like, I'm have had such a reputation of being such a fucking maniac, dude. And I'm like, p- people meet me and are like, dude, you're the mellowest dude. Like, what? I like, trip. I can turn it on and turn it off to have fun, you know? But, like, I'm the mellowest fucking dude. I get fucking shy. I get weird sometimes. And for the crowds of people. Like, that happens, you know what I mean? I just sleep on stuff and just deal with things. And, talk, like I said, talk to people and fucking, like, you, you got you to let that out. Because I held it in for so many years. Shit weighs on you, man. Fucking weighs on you. Let that shit out. That's all right. We all got feelings. We all got hearts, man. Like, give a fuck, baddest motherfucker, dude. This guy, like, afraid to cry. I cry. I'll cry, dude. I'll watch a fucking movie, dude. And I'll shit. Dude, like, animals, I swear to God, this is, like, n- no fucking joke. It may sound bad. People may get offended, but I don't care. I'd rather see a human fucking die than an animal. I swear to God. Me too. I'll fucking take... Take that motherfucker out. Do not run the fucking raccoon over or whatever. Squirrel. I will fucking lock the brakes up and take a biker out before I'm hitting that squirrel. Swear to God. I just got feel, dude. I was like, fuck, I see something on TV. I change it. Like, oh, fuck, I'm gonna sh- I'll fucking cry. Like, I, fuck, I got feelings, dude. I don't give a fuck, dude. I, have to, I can be tough. Like, I mean, I, 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 I can deal with pain, like skateboard. Like, I knock me, I can break shit, whatever. I deal with that all day. That's good. I love pain. But, like, <laughs> when it starts coming with fucking, like, animals and, like, start, like fucking kids or something, like, sad, or, like, dude, that fucking hurts, man. Like, I don't like it. 